got to go. Mayo's got to go. Mayo's got to go. The timing of this small PC rally against Hydro One salaries couldn't have been better for Doug Ford. Before it began, reports broke that board members gave themselves $25,000 raises, while the chair got a $70,000 raise. You could call the revelations a campaign gift for the PCs. Doug Ford has been tapping into voter anger over high hydro rates. He's already dubbed the head of Hydro One the $6 million man for his rising salary. And he's promised to fire him and the board if elected. Ford arrived for a brief in and out appearance as Hydro One held its annual shareholder meeting inside. They were making 160,000. They gave themselves a pay increase up to 185,000. Who does that? Who does that? This is a waste of taxpayers' money. This is the reason the board's going, the CEO is going. That's unacceptable. But how will you do that without wreaking havoc on hydro and, and causing Cynthia, a lot of losses? Cynthia, there's not going to be havoc in hydro. You can either sit there and turn a blind eye while they're gouging the taxpayers as they're lining their pockets and feathering their nests. Ford wouldn't say if he would buy back Hydro One shares sold off by the Liberals. NDP leader Andrea Horvath says she will. It's part of her campaign. It's obvious that uh, Hydro One um, should not be in private hands uh, because, again, the decisions that are being made there are being made for the interests of private shareholders and or private board members. You know, when Mr. Ford talks about Hydro One, uh, he talks about getting rid of Kathleen Wynne's um, cronies, as he calls them. Um, but, but we know for sure that all Mr. Ford's going to do is put his own cronies in place. This is the problem with privatization of our uh, most treasured uh, public uh, utility, Hydro One. Hydro rates are a vulnerability for the Liberals, who for months appeared tone deaf to consumer anger over rising costs. That had Kathleen Wynne on the defensive again today. Her government has promised a third party review of Hydro One compensation packages. I've been very clear that I was not happy as soon as we found out that the compensation um, package was going to change in this way. We've made it very clear that the compensation package that was brought forward was unacceptable. And so that is exactly why the review is happening. We forced that review to happen, we made it clear, and the review is happening. And with a third, with a third party. As for Hydro One's response, well, you could say it was unrepentant. In a statement to City News, they say Hydro One's director's compensation is in the bottom quartile relative to peers, and the changes, quote, were intended to bring director compensation halfway to medium.